What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry. Hopefully, I can give you a decent audio here. I'm wearing my earpiece. We're here today in beautiful Big Bear, California. Like today, today I wanted to uh, record a, a vlog, a quick vlog to be posted tomorrow. That will be Sunday. And the reason is like usually on Sundays, I, I post uh, the ArcGIS for JavaScript series, but this week I was so busy getting crazy at work, so I didn't have a chance to record a new episode for JavaScript. So that's ArcGIS for JavaScript. I've been cranking up a lot of content for other kind of content like JavaScript by example doing a lot of other vlogs too so yeah so just um, wanted to do a quick vlog just to be posted on Sunday because every every Sunday we have to have a video YouTube algorithm otherwise we'll get punished so yeah so today's topic is I wanted to talk about uh, it's actually a very, very, very important topic. It's about databases and networking and how close shall your client be to the database. And by distance, I mean here the network bandwidth to your database. So this is, this is very important. And uh, I noticed a lot of people, architect and writing programs, making a lot of mistakes uh, in this aspect. And the reason is, basically, if you are a client, and by client I mean someone who writes, or reads to the database directly. So your database could be Oracle, SQL Server, or um, Postgres. And traditionally, these relational databases was designed so they can run, run in proximity with the, with the client itself. So, so, so there are a lot of chattiness between the client and database. Hey, are you there? Keep alive. Acknowledgements. Uh, buffering and so many things. I, even I don't know about, right? But I'm not a database expert per se, but I know that database. Sorry guys, I think I got disconnected there for some reason. I think the phone is very cold. I don't know what's the temperature here. It's not really, it's just early December. But yeah, so yeah, what we're talking about, we're talking about that client has a lot of chattiness between the database. So having your client, talk to the database over Wi-Fi, for instance, will just degrade your performance to, to pieces, you know. It will, you, you, will, you will feel the slow performance because of, you know, the number of client, number of requests going on, left and right, TCP connections, right? So, so what, what should you do in this case? So, a client, should always be as close to the database as possible but the problem is that we can't always guarantee that my, my database could be in a, in a server somewhere right and in a cloud so this this is the worst thing you can do put your database on the cloud and 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 your client on your laptop where you're connecting through different hoops and switches to hit your database and that will just butcher the uh, performance, right? So what you do is, uh, is usually you have some sort of a Citrix environment. So Citrix is, is, uh, is, a, is an application, it's a farm-based application where you can install your application there and sits very, very near to the database. Usually it's a one gigabit or 10 gigabits per second network directly connecting to the database. And then actual clients, so that's a client, right, connecting to the database. But it's at the same time, it's a server where 
you will remote kind of remote connection to that citrus farm and then you will use that uh, that software but what you do here is is uh, you're way way uh, far from that Citrix farm and that's okay because the communication between you as as a thin client let's call yourself a thin client mobile or, or laptop or just surface Microsoft service and your Citrix server is very minimal you're just sending few bytes but the actual heavy lifting is done at the database level this is getting really cold here guys <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if i can handle it more all right we're gonna wrap up real soon so that's what, what we just did here is just uh, it was this is called a three-tier architecture where you put stuff push as as deep as possible next to the database right right keep them as close as possible some people put the database and the application in the same server eh. Although this might be sometimes bad because database and the application share the same resources and memory. Oh my God, freezing out there, man. It's beautiful. When I want to retire, I want to retire here. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm not used to earpieces here. All right, back. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna cut any of that. It was just to see how difficult this to record. All right, so yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I want to retire this. I want to buy one of these houses there. And just sit there and write my novel. You know? I don't know what it, what it will be about, but yeah, I always want to sit there. You know? Just imagine this beauty. All right, back to topic. All right, so that's another way. Another, another approach to this uh, is using uh, services. It's a beautiful architecture, the services architecture, and obviously the microservices architecture, which we can um, tackle in another topic, maybe another vlog. But yeah, so push your service, the actual service, very close to the database so they can communicate to each other. But, but the client makes a small risk request. Hey, give me all my users. So that's just slash uh, server name slash get users or users slash one. That's like a Twitter API, right? And then what happens is you literally send that small, small packet of requests, right? It's very cheaply sent to the server. And it doesn't matter if you're like across the globe. Well, it does matter a little bit, but <laughs> it's like the closest, the better, but it doesn't, it's not as chatty as between the database and getting the users. Although it sounds like just, hey, this is a query. Give me the database or give me the users. But it's more than like that, right? You have to have an open connection or close connection if you, if you have, if you don't want to use the persistent model. So there are a lot of topics to discuss here, but I just want to discuss this, the database proximity, three tiers and Citrix environments and services and the, the idea that your database should be very close to your client. Sorry about the hair, sir. Guys, all right, guys, that was a quick vlog about this topic. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. Click here. I think it will be here or here. I'm not sure. Subscribe, like this video. It means a lot. So keeps me going. All right, guys. Before I froze to death, signing out.